Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Top Boxer Mach 1 Series Micro Mitts. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Top Boxer Mach 1 Series Micro Mitts. These retail for $110 from Top Boxer's website. And I do believe they do offer free international shipping as well. Um, I got mine in this custom colorway and design with the black and white leather, as well as the Punisher logo that's actually embroidered on the center of the strike surface. Dimensions wise, uh, this mitt is eight inches in diameter about one inch in thickness and each mitt weighs roughly about nine and a half ounces. Um, it is full genuine leather construction manufactured in Pakistan. I believe the foam that they use on the inside is gonna be a very dense and hard EVA style of foam that's on the inside. Uh, we'll discuss the kind of performance and the feedback you get from these here in a second. You do have the top boxer logo that's a cloth patch that's stitched on the edge. You also have a hood, hood meaning that you have this leather uh, bonnet that covers the finger compartment. It does have holes poked out in it, so it is perforated for ventilation. Um, it also has an adjustable Velcro strap, so if you wanted to tighten the mitt down, you could. Uh, one key difference between the two is that one strap goes to the outside of that direction and then the opposite. So it's completely up to you. A lot of people, when they wear the mitts with the adjustable straps, they'll typically adjust them prior to putting them on. Um, it would have been nice to have some kind of like tab on there that you can kind of grab onto But again, typically they adjust it even before sliding their hand into the mitt uh, But that's only the only difference between the two mitts other than that uh, They are identical. So you do have that adjustable strap uh, And also this one inch wrist support that has uh, this breathable mesh great thing about this wrist support is that when you slide your hand in there, it fills that void underneath your wrist and gives you more support and a little bit more longevity when you're chaining your clients or your boxers or your fighters, whoever may be at your training. Um, and typically, if you don't have that wrist support there, you do fill that void. And again, this kind of helps with absorbing a little bit of the shock and giving you a little bit more support. Uh, a lot of boxing trainers over the years start to get issues with their, their wrists, their forearms, and their shoulders from doing so many rounds of, of, of holding the mitts for their uh, for the people that they're training and this definitely helps with that um, You also have a zipper at the bottom and that's where you slide uh, That piece in it has a slight curvature to the mitt like a lot of mitts do and that just helps with the angle in which you're holding the mitt uh, For your whoever's punching it uh, It does have a small air pocket as well as a palm ball So you can see it has this pocket right here that is recessed in the middle of the punch surface and when you slide your hand into the mitt itself you can actually feel the palm ball that kind of goes right here on the center of your palm and what that helps with is kind of that grip so when you're holding your mitts and they're getting hit you can really grip down on it and you don't have to worry about the mitt flying off your hands or feel like you don't have control when you're holding the mitts especially for people that are throwing really fast combinations you know powerful uh, powerful punches powerful straights powerful hooks uppercuts that palm ball really helps add that extra grip grip you're looking for uh, when you're using it. You know, quality wise, the mitt is very nice. Just like everything else, top boxer. It's very high quality, great bang for the buck. You know, I've done many reviews on top boxer equipment in the past. And when I say bang for the buck, you're getting a really high quality uh, piece of equipment. Uh, and the price is very fair, which I love. So you can see the leather on here has kind of a satin finish to it. You have the holes right here that was perforated. Um, the inside right here, you can see the actual bonnet is all leather construction. Uh, the inside is leather as well. So when you slide your hand in there, there is no actual like synthetic material on the inside of the hand compartment all the way to the fingertips. Everything is, is leather. You have that adjustable strap like I showed you. Um, the clip right here is made out of plastic. Um, it would have been nice to be metal, but then again, it'd probably add a little bit of weight to it. Not that, not that there would be a lot of weight, but overall the stitching looks really clean and that adjustable strap works really well. Um, the fact that they use embroidery on the patch 
for that Punisher skull logo is really nice. It's all stitched in and even the skull is all stitched uh, with thread. So there's nothing synthetic or, or like screen printed there. So you don't have to worry about any kind of fading uh, when it comes to that. Now talking to my coach, uh, boxing coach, Tommy, um, a lot of you guys have probably seen him in my videos when I'm, I'm doing mitt work. Um, typically I always give these mitts to him so he can try them out. He uses them a lot more than I would ever use them just because he's constantly, it's his full-time job. He's, he's training uh, athletes, NFL athletes, boxers, uh, you know, regular people that just want to get in shape and he uses mitts and he, and he said by far these are probably his favorite ones. And I think really it's this combination of all the features. Being a micro mitt, um, you know, he has, uh, I'd say, you know, above average size hands. Um, he's not a small dude and he said, you know, he had no issues with his fingers, like uh, as far as the length of the, the hand compartment went, they felt really comfortable. He said the feedback felt really good with these. He loved the way you get that nice pop. And for even myself, when I was hitting these, they feel great. Like you get this really nice pronounced pop and feeling, feedback. Um, you know, the wrist support for him, he said, is, is a big game changer as well in terms of just not fatiguing out as quickly. Um, but again, you know, he said that this is his favorite mitts and I believe he actually has a pair uh, of the larger, I think they're the air mitts that are the, with the Filipino flag design. He's had those for years and he still has them till today. They're a lot more worn out obviously, um, but he insists that these currently are his favorite mitts to use um, and that says a lot. So, you know, for someone that's using them constantly a day, every day to train uh, people and he says these are his favorite ones, that's a lot to say because we've, we've used so many mitts in the gym, these Phenoms, uh, I mean, we've used so many different brands, Russian Boxer, uh, so I guess that's a huge compliment towards Top Boxer uh, for using these mitts. But from my side of things, from hitting them, I, I love the way they feel, um, you know, good pop, good feedback. Um, for $110, you know, you can't really go wrong. Great quality, great longevity, um, you know, they feel good, they perform well. Uh, overall, very satisfied with these micro mitts. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these top boxer Mach 1 series micro mitts. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.